हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रियंका फ्रॉम शुभांजलि स्टोर एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज टेन क्रिस्टल्स फॉर लव लव एंड रोमांस आर द मोस्ट पावरफुल ह्यूमन इमोशंस फॉर दोज हु आर रेडी टू वेलकम द वंडर ऑफ अनकंडीशनल लव इनटू देयर हार्ट्स हीलिंग क्रिस्टल्स आर एन अमेजिंग टूल फॉर हेल्पिंग टू मेंड ब्रोकन हार्ट्स अनब्लॉक दोज हार्ट चक्र एंड टू अट्रैक्ट लव एंड अबंडेंस to fill up your life completely self love is also very important and it means listening to your body and soul and knowing how to put your needs first when necessary if you are ready to attract all that you deserve in the world to love then keep watching this video i'm going to be talking about 10 different crystals today The first crystal that we are going to start off is the most important crystal, and that is rose quartz. Rose quartz is the most important love stone. Rose quartz helps you in building trust and tolerance and levels of true unconditional love. It ho- it also heals old wounds and frees your heart to attract love again in your life. The next that I'm going to talk about is rhodonite. Rhodonite is a stone which is black and pink. This is an excellent stone for uh, shivering you with forgiveness and it supports you during your tough times in relationships. It also helps you move forward rather than getting stuck in the old thoughts and past relationships. The next crystal that I'm talking about is rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite is a beautiful pink stone with natural banding on it. This te- this stone helps you in mending a broken heart. It also leads you to love. It's a stone of pure love. So, if you are in a relationship and if your relationship is going through a rough patch, then this stone will remind you of what love really feels like. So, this is rhodochrosite. The next fourth stone that I'm going to talk about is strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz helps you in settling emotions and giving you comfort. It stimulates a flow of happiness and joy. It amplifies one's intention of love, appreciation and generosity. The next crystal is garnet. Garnet is also a dark red color stone. It is a pure passionate healer. It forges beautiful bonds rather than falling into traps of uncertainty and jealousy. This is a stone of courage and positive thinking. The next crystal is ruby. Ruby is also a precious stone, but it also has its own format of a sort of a semi-precious stone category as well. It is a great pink color stone as you can see. This stone is in itself only only speaks of love and relationship. It is a great stone for building the art of sensuality. For those uh, that are sometimes lose themselves in relationships, ruby reminds you that your best self is ever present and that your own energy should come first. It brings fire in relationships as well. So this is ruby. The next crystal is a very beautiful feminine stone which is called as kunzite. Kunzite is a lavender pink colored stone and uh, it is called as a women's stone because it is an excellent stone for love and cozy heart. It is a gem of deep love, inner peace and wisdom. It helps in building magnificent relationships. This is kunzite. the next stone uh, in in love stones there are two types of colors which come the uh, first one is the pink stone pink shade and the second color is the green shade so in green shades the next stone that i'm going to talk about is green aventurine green aventurine otherwise is a great stone for wealth and uh, luck but it is a great stone for seeking a new relationship it fills you with a wealth of self love and passion and prosperity it brings compassion 
needed for riding the highs and low in new partnerships. So whenever you are entering a new relationship, green aventurine helps you sail through the ups and downs. The next crystal that I'm talking about is Chrysocolla. Chrysocolla is an expression stone and it helps you speak what is in your heart. So it builds social skills and energizes your soul so that you can attract the right people in your life. The next stone is Malachite. Malachite is again a very beautiful green stone with a lot of natural banding in it. Malachite is a magnet of love. So it's a very strong stone to keep high vibes and keeping you steady. It helps you move from a place of suspicion to a place of trust and purpose. So it builds the trust in your relationships. Malachite is excellent for that. So these were all the 10 crystals that I explained. So now that you have a list of crystals which will help you with your love intention, the best way to channelize the energy towards achieving your love goal is by wearing, either you can wear this kind of jewelry or you can hold these crystals in different forms like spheres, palm stones or tumbles and meditate with them. Crystal combination and you, you can also make a crystal combination of all these crystals and wear it in the form of a bracelet and you should choose which crystal resonates with you the most out of all. Today I am also sharing 5 affirmations for love. Whenever you are holding a crystal and you are wanting the crystal to give you a result, you must manifest the crystal. Just by keeping the crystal it might affect you or it might not but when you manifest the energy reaches the universe and it brings back to you in, in a faster way. So you need to say these kind of affirmations when you are manifesting love in your life. The first one, I completely love myself. Self-love is very, very, very important, okay? So, first you must love yourself, then only you can love somebody else, right? So, first, my affirmation is I completely love myself. The second affirmation, I forgive myself or you can say your partner's name for the past mistakes. Whenever you want to forgive someone, you must say these sentences. I forgive or if you want to forgive yourself for something wrong that you have done, Forgiving yourself is also very, very important. A lot of times we don't forgive ourselves and keep it in our heart because of which it becomes like a prolonged wrong thing. Okay. So the second affirmation is that I forgive myself or you can say the partner's name for the past mistakes. Third, my heart is ready to receive and give love. So you have to receive love and you, you're opening your heart chakra by saying this. The fourth one is that I am strong, brave, confident and beautiful inside and out okay and the fifth one is the universe is bringing my soulmate to me so wherever you are the one who's looking for a soulmate in your life the fifth one is the affirmation for you that you're looking for a soulmate to come to your life and the universe is bringing it to you okay so these were the five formations for love do like comment and subscribe our youtube channel and let us know how did you find this video thank you